Amara here with Millennium Moonchild and I have another unboxing video. Um, today I have my July Goddess Provisions box that I'm going to open up and show you what's in it. I got it about five days ago and so now I'm getting around to opening it up. Alright, so this is what it looks like. And so now I'm going to go through some of the contents, well all of the contents really. Alright, first thing we have a House of Intuition um, mermaid tea bath. And so I actually follow House of Intuition on Instagram. Um, I actually do want to go to their store, but as they're located in Los Angeles and I live in Maryland, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I do like perusing their website. So it looks like this is made of um, Epsom salt, Rio salt, 100 essential oil blend of flowers and plant medicine and vegan, vegan mica power. So I would love to know what plants and flowers are in here, but I'm gonna open it up and take a sniff. It's actually a beautiful purple color, so I'm imagining there's probably lavender in there somewhere, so. Um, oh wow, so basically it's filled all the way to the brim. I'd be afraid of spilling things, actually. But. Okay, yeah, that's, it smells very um, herby to me, like lots of herbs in here. Yeah, a lot, I can't really pick up what's in here, but probably, I'm assuming lavender, maybe eucalyptus, I'm not sure, but yeah, so this is it. Um, I'm someone who loves taking baths, so I'll probably definitely utilize this within the next two weeks or so. So yeah, cool, there's the first one, our mermaid tea bath. Second item that I'm gonna open up here is we have a facial sponge set. Again, I feel like this is a little wasteful. I think that this could have been packed without plastic. Um, so I would love that, you know, if Goddess Provisions would really just be a little bit more conscious of the waste that they're including um, in their boxes, especially because plastic doesn't really break down um, much at all. And so this didn't need that. It's already in a box, but yeah. Anyway, adjusting my mic. All right, so we have a Conjac facial sponge, so 100% natural, vegan, eco-friendly, chemical-free, an exfoliating, deep cleansing plant fiber that is pH level balanced, soft and gentle, made from 100% pure edible vegetable roots for all skin types. So yeah, here's a sponge facial set. There's two in here. So it's made of 100% konjac fiber and bamboo charcoal. And so um, I actually have used some of these before. I got some from um, this natural supermarket that we have here um, called Mom's Organic Market. So I know that you have to wet it um, for it to soften up and then you can use it as an exfoliator. And when I do use it, I do notice that my skin is a lot smoother. So um, I'll definitely utilize this as I need to recycle the ones that I have currently because it's been a minute. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Here's one, and it has a string attached to it so you can hang it up so it can dry. And it's very tough, so as I said, it softens um, once you wet it. So there's the konjac one, and then I'm assuming this is the charcoal one here. So this is the charcoal one, and it looks like it comes with a hook. So yeah, it has a suction piece that you can suction onto the bathroom tile and then hang um, both of these sponges from the hook. So that's really convenient so that you don't have to go out and buy something separate to hang it up. All right, let's this again. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so yeah, cool. Sponge set with a, a hook. All right, next thing that's in here is a shanty bar the superfood protein bar I'm not a huge bar person I think I said that in a previous video um, but we'll look at the ingredients the ingredients are organic almonds organic dates organic protein blend of pumpkin protein sunflower protein both organic organic coconut syrup organic spirulina organic chia seeds organic hemp seeds and Celtic sea salt so definitely a lot of superfoods um, it has 9 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein, so definitely will keep you powered up for a little while. Um, I'm not going to try it on camera just because I know I'm a little particular <laughs> about it and I don't want to, you know, give a bad impression because it probably is pretty good for those who really like bars. So yeah, at the bottom we have USDA Organic, Certified Paleo, Non-GMO Project Certified, and Certified Gluten 
free. So it's got, it looks like a pretty decent bar for your body. So there's that. I'll probably bring it to work because I'm working half a day teaching summer school. And so like by the time I leave work, I'm not hungry enough for lunch, but I need something to kind of, kind of keep my appetite up as I'm driving home so I don't buy fast food. And that would fit the tab very nicely. So yeah. All right, ooh. Okay, so next thing, again, with the plastic, I think it's a little unnecessary, but it's fine. So we got a nail polish. So this is Love by Luna. Ugh. And we got the Crystal Infused Polish Mystic Manny in the, I'm about to say flavor, but scent, but in the, I guess the flavor is Scorpio. So this is a beautiful, like metallic-y green, like deep color. I love deep nail polish um, colors. And Love by Luna, I also follow them on Instagram and I always like peruse their um, their news feed. So it was kind of cool that I got a sample because I've been meaning to try this for a really long time. So let's see. So it's five free, which is really good. It's cruelty free and vegan. So um, I've also been trying to kind of clean up my nail polish game as well. So I typically only buy brands that don't have any of the really harmful chemicals but still are quality and don't chip. Um, OPI is one of them. I know Sephora's line has been doing better about that. So I love that this is also included. I'll read the back. So it says Scorpio, dark, intense, and mysterious. Our midnight black suits the depths of your soul with the faintest hint of blue and shimmer that, that's fitting for a water sign obsidian a detoxifying stone to initiate powerful introspection exposes destructive tendencies and hard truths to heal subconscious trauma well we'll see if um the obsidian infused in here will do all that um but yeah i mean regardless it's a beautiful color so i'm very happy to get this in my box awesome job goddess provisions all right next thing we have Again, another bottle with bubble wrap. I don't think this is necessary, but anyway, I'm gonna open it up. Ugh. All right, so we have Dead Sea Salt Spray for Beach Wave Hair. Um, seeing as how my hair is locked, I probably won't be using this. Um, I mean, I could braid my hair, like little pieces to like make it like wavy. Uh, but I'm not a fan of putting salt in my hair. But anyway, um, this is one fluid ounce of the Coal Miner's Daughter Organic Vegan and Handcrafted Deep Sea Salt, Epsom Salt, Himalayan Pink Salt, Pure Aloe Vera Gel, Lang Lang Essential Oil, and Rose Infused Coconut Oil. So I bet this smells really nice. I do use aloe vera in my hair. I do love Lang. I don't know if it's Lil li Yang Lang or Yil Lang Lang or just Lang Lang. It does smell really nice. That's really nice. I might just spray it in my hair just because of the smell. But close to wash day, because I don't want salt in my hair. And I don't wash my hair every day because black hair isn't meant to be washed every day. It gets really dry. But yeah. So I would say close to wash day, maybe like three days out, I will spray this to be infused with that, that Lang Lang and Rose because it's a beautiful scent. It's very feminine and soft and what I imagine like a goddess smells like. So yeah, cool. All right, last thing is this, again, in plastic. Can we do away with the plastic, please? Or can we opt out of having plastic and just have our box shipped as is, maybe? Or maybe like brown paper bags or paper packing, I don't know. Not the crinkly stuff, just regular paper wrapped up everything. All right, so anyway, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to look at the little, um, card included to figure out what this is but it's a rectangular this is maybe a towel for your hair like let me let me let me look at this real quick oh, okay. all right so this is the theme of the month water is sacred it's fitting because july um starts out in um the sign of cancer you know our water our water signs are a little sensitive crabs. So it makes sense. All of these things do have to do with water for the most part. Between the mermaid tea bath, between the Scorpio nail polish, which is also a water sign. Um, this Chanty bar is made with spirulina, which grows in water. 
um, this blue, whatever this is, I'll figure out in a minute. <laughs> All right, so this thing is a Turkish towel. So use a mozzie Turkish towel. Use this towel to dry off after swimming. Sit in the sauna or wear it as a head wrap. Great for the day at the beach, river, lake, or pool. So I was right, it looks like a towel. Um, I am someone that wears head wraps, so let's see. We're gonna try it out to see if it can fit. Looks like it will. So you tie it. And so for me, I would just kind of twist it up. And then wrap it around. So I wear like African printed head wraps. And so they're a little bigger than this. And so you have a lot more um, parts to like tuck it, uh, to tie it up with and so this is a little on the shorter side I'm not sure that I would wear this as a head wrap and I'm sure this is not the way they mean to wrap your hair because I don't know but yeah I mean it's wrappable I just feel like I don't know that I would wear this to like work I probably would wear this maybe to dry my hair um maybe to at the pool I don't know yeah maybe to the beach or something that could work it's not a work wrap though but yeah that's that's this wrap um, so I gave you a mini tutorial of how to tie your wraps with this. So yeah, it's fitting with the with the water theme of the month. So yeah, Turkish towel. And then finally, last but not least, as you know, a crystal comes in every box. So looking at this, I, again, plastic. I don't need everything in plastic. Please stop putting it in plastic. All right. Um... All right, off the bat, I don't know what this is. It is a beautiful stone, though. It's nice and blue. Again, matching with our water theme. And so I got a peek at the name of it when I got the card out, but it's um, Sodalite. I'm unfamiliar with Sodalite. I've never worked with it or bought it, so I'll read what it is. So it says, this stone promotes peace and tranquility amidst murky waters. Carry it with you for a deeper connection to your intuition and as a reminder to trust your instincts. So, yeah, so to like. I'm a little in, I'm a little curious that this isn't more for like the throat chakra as opposed to like intuition because the throat chakra is associated with the color blue, um, you know? And, um, you know, intuition is more associated with like the third eye or even your crown. So we're looking more of like, um, you know, a purple or a deep indigo. So. I guess maybe this could be indigo, but I think of indigo a little more purpley than blue. But either way, that's it. So this was my Goddess Provisions box. So again, um, the theme is water is sacred. So everything that I brought out either has like a bluish color or has something to do with water, water signs, you know, a hairspray, spirulina bar, facial set, um, a Turkish towel, the bath salt. So yeah, I really like this box. Um, I know I've said in past videos that I'm not sure that I would keep getting these boxes, but I'm happy with this one. I love the fact that I got a nail polish. Like that's like sealing the deal for me right there. And even that mermaid bath. I mean, granted I could make my own bath. Um, I have before, I do have a lot of essential oils. I have herbs I could put in there. But yeah, this is, the, the nail polish just sold me alone because one of those nail polishes costs less. I'm sure like it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, so the nail polish is like $18. That's kind of why I haven't bought it because I can go to Target and get like OPI for like $8. <laughs> um, so the fact that I got $18 nail polish in a box that cost me $28 and so many other things is worth it for me with this one. So yeah, that's my unboxing video. Thanks for watching as usual. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See ya.